Hello, everyone. Today, I will present our work, Invisible for both Camera and LiDAR, Security of Multi-Sensor Fusion-Based Perception in Autonomous Driving and Physical World Attacks. My name is Niu Fei Wang, a second-year PhD student from ISGARD Research Group at UC Irvine, advised by Professor Qi Avril Chen. My co-authors are Yu Long, Chao Wei, Da Wei, who are my co-first authors, Jin, Rui Gang, my advisor Alfred, Ming Yan, and Bo. This is a joint work among UC Irvine, University of Michigan, Arizona State University, UIUC, Nevada Research, Baidu Research, and Inceptual. Recently, autonomous driving or AD vehicles are increasingly deployed on public roads. For an AD system, perception is no doubt one of the most critical tasks for safe driving. Among various perception tasks, the most important and safety critical one is in-road obstacle detection, such as detecting front cars, pedestrians, traffic cones, or barriers. Error in such tasks can directly lead to violent crashes. For example, the Uber accident in Arizona and the Tesla accident in Taiwan. Due to such direct safety impact, various previous work have studied the security of AD in-road obstacle detection. However, all these existing work are limited to attacks on a single source of AD perception. For example, camera or LiDAR-based AD perception alone. By contrast, production high-level AD systems such as Waymo, GM Cruise widely adopt multi-sensor fusion or MSF-based AD perception. Different sensors have different sensing capability. Thus, the core idea behind MSF is to leverage the strength and compensate the weakness of these sensors to achieve overall higher accuracy and robustness. So far, the most popular MSF gives sensor data from LiDAR and the camera, and state-of-the-art design are DNA-based, considering its recent superior performance. In such design, assuming not all perception sources are or can be attacked simultaneously, theoretically, it is always possible to rely on the an attack source to detect or prevent such attack. Such basic security design assumption is believed to hold in general. That's why MSF is widely recognized as a general defense strategy against the existing attack on AD perception. However, if we look back, all such conclusions depend on this very basic security design assumption. This does naturally lead to a fundamental research question. Can such basic security design assumption actually be broken, especially in practical AD settings? To answer this question, there are several research challenges to address. First, lack of single physical world attack vector effective for both camera and LiDAR-based AD perception. Second, need to differently synthesize physically consistent attack impact onto both camera and LiDAR. Third, need to handle non-differentable pre-processing steps in AD perception. Let me detail this in the following slides. First, let's talk about the problem formulation and the attack goal. We target on physical world attacks vector for high practicality and realism. Considering its basic security design assumption, we aim at designing an attack that can effectively attack all perception source used in the MSL-based AD perception, which means camera plus collider for today's popular design. This allowed us to directly challenge the basic security design assumption and for the first time, allowed us to gain a concrete understanding of how much security guarantees the use of MSF can fundamentally provide as a general defense strategy for AD perception. As for our attack goal, we aim at fooling the MSF-based AD perception in the victim AD vehicles to fail in detecting a front obstacle and thus crash into it. To achieve this, the very first challenge is the choice of attack vector. In our case, it is ideal if we can find a single physical world attack vector effective for both camera and LiDAR-based AD perception, which can save attack deployment costs and thus improve the practicality and instilliness. However, currently no previously used attack vector shown effectiveness for both. For instance, adding color pattern to obstacle or road surface can affect the camera but cannot affect LiDAR. And shooting laser have shown to be effective for LiDAR-based AD perception, but its effectiveness for camera-based AD perception remain unclear. To address this, we identify adversarial 3D object as a physical world attack vector against MSF-based AD perception. Our insight is that 
different shapes can affect both point position changes for LiDAR and pixel value changes for camera. Such an attack is physically realizable with today's 3D printing technologies. Such an attack can also achieve high stillness by mimicking a normal traffic object, such as travel cone or barrier, but with broken look or weird looking rock. To achieve our attack goal, the attacker can place an object on the roadside to trick the victim AD vehicle to crash into it. To cause serious crashes, the attacker can fill a 3D printed object with dense materials, for example, the granite or metal to make it harder and heavier, or leverage the semantic meaning of a certain road object types such as uh, travel cones. For example, place some nails or glass debris behind an uh, adversarial traffic cone object so that failing to detect it can lead to terror blowout of a target ADS vehicle. Before jumping to our design details, let's first watch some video demos of our attack. The first one is uh, in a miniature scale physical world setup where we use real camera and LiDAR, but set up the road environment in a smaller scale. We choose traffic cone as the object type and 3D printed the benign one and the other one generated by our attack. Here, as you can see, this is the printed other traffic cone. Here is a 3D printed benign traffic cone in a small scale. Left is the camera view and the right is the LiDAR view. As you can see, it can generally be detected by both camera and the LiDAR. Now it's the case for 3D printed adosaro traffic code. As you can see, we put it in the same position and follow the same movement. In the camera and the LiDAR views, its pattern looks pretty similar to the binary case. But in this case, it can never be detected by both camera and LiDAR in any of these frames. We also have an attack demo using real vehicles with valid 64 line LiDAR and the camera. Here, we use the box as the benign object and 3D printed the thorough one generated from such benign shape, which end up like a strange looking rock. Here is a 3D printed Adosaro object. Left is LiDAR view and the right is camera view. Now we drive forward. As you can see, the same as the traffic cone case, it can never be detected by both camera and LiDAR in any of these frames. We also have an end to end attack simulation demo. Here is the road in LGSVR, an open source production grid AD simulator. And here is a vehicle running by the Apollo 5.0, an industry grid AD system. And here is the benign and the adosaro traffic cone we will import. This is the benign case. Left is the simulator view, and the right is the AD system view. The traffic cone is here in the roadway. As you can see, the AD system can successfully detect it and safely stop before it. Now it comes to the adosaro case. We put the adosaro one at exactly the same place, but in this case, the AD system can never detect it in any of these frames and thus eventually crash into it. Now, let me detail how our attack design works behind the scene, which called MSF ADV to systematically generate the Adosaro object will adopt optimization based method like many prior works. Here is what we have. We have an initial binary 3D object mesh, say for a travel cone, the point cloud and an image of target road and an MSF algorithm. We need to first generate the MSF algorithm input, basically the camera image and the LiDAR point cloud of target road with objects somehow put inside. And then use the gradient to update the shape of 3D object mesh to iteratively generate the adversary version. Here, a challenge is that we need to differently synthesize physically consistent attack impact onto both camera image and the LiDAR point cloud. To address this, we use differentable 3D rendering. For example, a customized version of recasting for LiDAR and an existing technique called NMR for camera, which are both differentable. However, with this, we are not done yet, as there is another common step before the MSF algorithm in the production designs, that is pre-processing. For example, aggregate feature calculation and the region of interest filters. This is another challenge 
that we need to handle that differentable pre-processing step in AD perception, especially for the LiDAR side. Let me detail this a little bit. State-of-the-art LiDAR-based object detection method popularly use style-level algorithmic feature to improve running time algorithm performance. For example, let's say there are the raw LiDAR points. To generate such feature, a pre-processing step will first group them into 2D or 3D cells, and then calculate the cell-level features such as occupancy, count, height, intensity, and density. In order to calculate this feature, the necessary first step is to perform what we call point inclusion or PI calculation, which calculates whether an input point is inside a cell or not. Such a property is discontinuous by nature. To achieve differentiability, our strategy is to first design a novel and accurate differentiable function to approximate PI calculation or soft PI, and then use, use it as a building block to achieve differentiable computations of features we mentioned earlier. To achieve such soft PI calculation, our key idea is to estimate the probability of such point inclusion using interpolations. We tried different interpolation functions such as trilinear and tangent H to improve the accuracy. More details can be found in our paper. We also have other designs, for example, improving robustness to different victim approaching position and angles, stealthiness, and physical world reliability. Now it's time to talk about evaluation. We evaluated a full MSF algorithm included in two open source full stack AD systems. Apollo and AutoWare.ai. We select three object types with 100 real world driving scenario from KD dataset. For the effectiveness, we achieve over 91% success rate across different object types and MSF algorithm. We also evaluate the robustness against different victim position and angles, find over 95% average success rate. Also, we found high transferability across different MSF algorithm with around 75% average success rate. We also evaluated the physical world realizability, which is demonstrated before in a miniature scale and a real vehicle based setup, and found at least 85% attack success rate across different frames. We also performed end to end attack simulation evaluations, which is also demonstrated before, and found our attack can achieve 100% collision rate across 100 runs. We also evaluated many other properties, such as baseline attack comparison, stealthiness, printability, and different attack settings, which are more detailed in our paper. Last but not least, we also made efforts on evaluating and discussing defenses. There are two general defense directions. First, DNA-based defense. We experimentally evaluate six popular existing input and model-level defense methods. The most effective one reduced the attack success rate to 66% without harming benign performance. However, it is not quite enough to render our attack practically unexportable in practice. This means that we need to explore more effective design in our problem setting, especially for those with strong guarantees, such as adversary training and certified robustness. Another direction is to choose more perception source. For example, fields with more camera or LIDARs mounted at different positions or including radar in MSF. This cannot fundamentally defeat our attack as the shape change can still simultaneously affect this sensor input. However, this may make our attack more difficult to generate and thus could be a practical mitigation. We did a responsible vulnerability disclosure and as for h 4 25 we have informed 31 companies that are deploying or testing AD vehicles. Among them, 17 have replied and started investigation. To conclude, at a high level, the most important contribution we did is to perform the first study on security of MSF-based AD perception, challenging the basic security design assumption in practical AD settings. We design a novel attack, address various challenges, conduct intensive evaluations, and also perform responsible vulnerability disclosures. With that, thank you for your attention, and I'm now open to questions.